All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and today back with another video here. Flyers actually deciding today. Uh, so I didn't actually expect um, this to happen. I didn't think the Flyers would be signing Noah Cates' older brother, uh, but they do. So they sign um, free agent forward Jackson Cates uh, from the University of Minnesota Duluth to a two year entry level deal, uh, with an, which is worth an AAV of 925,000 that begins this season in 2021. Uh, and I just got a tweet here that just came up uh, when I refreshed Twitter, which is from Sam Carcidi, assistant GM Brent, Brent, Brent Flair, easy for me to say, said Jackson Cates is in the law and mold, hard news player, gets lots of greasy goals. After he quarantines, he will join the Flyers for the rest of the season, along with Tanner Lysinski, who we heard yesterday, who was joining the Flyers for the remaining 15 games. Um, so, you know, it's... I'm liking this because I feel like this is kind of what the Flyers are doing at this point. It's like, get, let's, let's get these kids up here. Let's get them to play. Allison's going to be, I my guess is that Allison's probably going to be taking all the way spot at some point um, because I don't think NAK has been good. I think Lagzinski's going to stay in that 4C mold. Um, and honestly, I think now it's like, I've talked about this before where the Flyers have a lot of guys and they have guys on the radar where it's like, they kind of can come in and kind of, you know, if someone isn't doing their job right, that's in the top six or third line, fourth line, whatever, they have guys down there that can come up and just do it and they'll take their spot. And that's kind of what this is like. Um, so a little info on him, as I said, he is um, Noah Cates' older brother. Um, so he's 23 years old, which I think makes sense for him coming up to the NHL squad. He's six foot, 190 pounds, uh, 190 pounds, excuse me, shoots left. Um, he went undrafted, and after his freshman year at UMD, um, he was a camp invite to the Flyers for development camp in 2019. Um, and over his three seasons uh, at UMD, he produced 27 goals, 37 assists for 64 points in 96 collegiate games. Um, and, and this year, he scored the opening goal of a 3-2 win over North Dakota, which lasted five overtimes and which was the longest ever played NCAA hockey um, game in tournament history, uh, which was to reach the Frozen Four. Um, this year, he had 11 goals, 16 assists for 27 points, um, which, as I said, that helped Minnesota Duluth reach the Final Four there, or the Frozen Four, uh, as I'm saying Final Four like it's like it's uh, basketball. Um, so pretty much uh, his stats are, they've gotten better as the years have gone on, which, you know, he's gotten older, but he also played less games. So his freshman year, played 39 games, recorded eight goals, six assists for 14 points. Uh, sophomore year, 29 games played, 8 goals, 15 assists, 23 points. And then, as I said, this past year, 28, 28 games, 27 points, 11 goals, 16 assists. So he's played less games, but he put up more points. He's also gotten older, which would make sense for him, you know, coming in and, and playing better. So, um, again, I didn't expect this. Honestly, I thought the Flyers would sign Noah Cates before they signed Jackson Cates. But, hey, maybe that's going to come in the next handful of days here. Maybe both Cates, they end up coming up at the same time. But my guess is that this is probably happening and now which is probably because that you know jackson is probably you know he's older obviously and that's most likely the reason um it might be you know different with noah too the with you know the whole just the contract negotiations and everything um since he was drafted and things like that um so you know i think we're gonna have to see what happens but um yeah it sounds uh it sounds promising for so far so hopefully uh, we'll be seeing some some Jackson Kate soon, um, and and I guess we'll be able to uh, see him in the next handful of games here, and hopefully seeing some other guys too. So uh, remember, guys, Flyers play tonight, uh, seven o'clock against the Capitals in Washington. Anthony Mantha making his uh, debut for Washington, so it should be a good game. Hopefully, the Flyers pick up a win and st they're still fighting the, in the uh, playoff race. So remember, guys, podcast articles; those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.